excerpts from a lecture on the crucifixion given to catechumens in the city of Jerusalem by St. Cyril of Jerusalem around the year 350. Let us then not be ashamed to confess the crucified. Be the cross our seal made with boldness by our fingers on our brow and on everything over the bread we eat and the cups we drink in our comings in and our goings out before our sleep and when we lie down and when we rise up and when we are in the way and when we are still great is that preservative it is without price for the sake of the poor without toil for the sick since also its grace is from God. It is the sign of the faithful and the dread of devils, for he triumphed over them in it, having made a show of them openly. For when they see the cross, they are reminded of the crucified. They are afraid of him who bruised the heads of the dragon despise not the seal because of the freeness of the gift but for this the rather honor thy benefactor take therefore first as an indestructible foundation the cross and build upon it the other articles of the faith deny not the crucified for if thou deny him thou hast many to arraign thee Judas the traitor will arraign thee first, for he who betrayed him knows that he was condemned to death by the chief priests and the elders. The thirty pieces of silver bear witness. Gethsemane bears witness. Where the betrayal occurred, I speak not yet of the Mount of Olives, on which they were with him at night praying. The moon in the night bears witness, the day bears witness, the sun which was darkened, for it endured not to look on the crime of the conspirators. The fire will arraign thee by which Peter stood and warmed himself. If thou deny the cross, the eternal fire awaits thee. I speak hard words that thou may not experience hard pains. Remember the swords that came against him in Gethsemane, that thou feel not the eternal sword. The house of Caiaphas will arraign thee, showing by its present desolation the power of him who was once judged there. Yea, Caiaphas himself will rise up against thee in the day of judgment. The very servant will rise up against thee who smote Jesus with the palm of his hand, they also who bound him, and they who led him away. Even Herod shall rise up against thee, and Pilate, as if saying, Why deniest thou him, whom was slandered before us by the Jews, and who we knew to have done no wrong? For I, Pilate, then washed my hands. The false witnesses shall rise up against thee, and the soldiers who arrayed him in the purple robe, and set on him the crown of thorns, and crucified him in Golgotha, and cast lots for his coat. Simon the Cyrenian will cry out upon thee, who bore the cross after Jesus. This cross shall appear again with Jesus from heaven. For the trophy shall precede the king, that seeing him whom they pierced, and knowing by the cross him who was dishonored, the Jews may repent and mourn. But they shall mourn tribe by tribe, for they shall repent when there shall be no more time for repentance. And that we may glory, exalting in the cross, worshiping the Lord who was sent and crucified for us, and worshiping also God his Father, who sent him with the Holy Ghost, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen.